Yeah, look, he's, he's lost control, and I'll, I'll just give your, uh, you know, your viewers, I can't call that out. There's rules that say that I can't call that out. Okay. Uh, but he is, he is not, like, he was not there. He, he has not apologized, uh, and I expect an apology. I got to tell you, Canada is the best country in the world. My parents chose it. I'm a child of, uh, of a grandchild of Holocaust uh, survivors. Uh, and to watch what is happening and what the prime minister is driving in this country is frankly egregious. How much hate has been directed at you and others who just believe in free expression and the right to protest, even take away concerns about mandates and the truckers and cross-border traffic? Set that aside. How much hate have you seen out there just directed? At you. Look, I think the division, the division in this country is growing, and it's it's being it, it's growing because of the prime minister's rhetoric on this. We've got an urban urban rural divide. We've got a an east west uh, divide, and that's being wedged uh, uh, by the prime minister. I'm the party's transport uh, critic, so we've been calling uh, to an end to these mandates, uh, particularly the cross border trucking mandate, uh, since earlier this year. We are one of you know we are one of the highest. We've got one of the highest vaccination rates and we also have one of the we, we are the country with the highest most draconian restrictions so if he wants to end this today uh, he could have done that 19 days ago before uh, putting forward a national emergency that is not justified uh, he could have gone out and, uh, and and talked to people rather than calling them racist and misogynist and we could have put an end to this he can drop the mandates and he can drop the restrictions today uh, and I think that we will have a much more cohesive country